Okay. Unless I miss my guess, that is Delta Airlines 2609. Very nice. Delta Airlines 2609. Very cool. Wonder how long I can keep this plane in me. Oh, but actually. Hi. Planet, that's got to be a satellite. No, it's an airplane. Oh, okay. Delta Airlines 2609. Okay. <laughs> Friend of mine enjoys plane spotting. Yep. Uh, practicing for rocket spotting. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> that's a busier job now. I love to see SpaceX throwing them up. Yep. But yeah, I've got some software here that it's receiving uh, radio signals from airplanes and then telling the telescope where to point. Okay. It's okay, pretty, that's pretty even fun. The, the tracker you use to see if your party's on time when they're making a flight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Same technology. Okay. But yeah, if you come around here, you can see it. Uh, you can see the airplane in the screen there. You're actually tracking it? Oh yeah, right there. Wow. See that? That's an airplane. Wow. Delta Airlines 2609. Wow. <laughs> it's over there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I do see one heading, heading this way with naked eye. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, there it is, silhouetted against the clouds. Can you okay. see it? Okay, okay, yes, yeah. Yep, and that's yeah. it. <laughs> but yeah, I can give slight corrections from the uh -huh. keyboard as it drifts a little bit, but mostly it's automatic. So it's based on the on the GPS instead of on the optical tracking? Exactly, it's GPS. <laughs> oh, my son's all interested in the artificial intelligence to pull out images and auto track that way. <laughs> ah, yeah, that, that's, uh, yep. that, that's another approach. <laughs> Depth perception. Very, very neat. Yep. Is the astronomical tracker fast enough? Usually it just follows the curve of the Earth very, very slow clockwork. Yeah. Um, you had to go faster. Yeah, so th this one, <laughs> I, I specifically chose this telescope because it can slew it up to five degrees per second. Oh. So oh. Uh, this is a, a go-to telescope mount, meaning you can tell it to point at something in the sky and it will do it. So, so you're not waiting for hours. To, it yeah, needs to yeah. be able to move fairly quickly. Huh. Very, very neat. But yeah, it is fast enough to track airplanes and, <laughs> I hope, rockets. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm uh, practicing here because there are airplanes to see, so, yeah. so good, good practice San Jose, targets. San Jose, Oakland, um, San Francisco all have lots of flights. Exactly. But uh, on Wednesday, there's going to be a rocket launch out of Vandenberg, so I'm going to go down and try to uh, video that. Okay. Should be fun. Definitely. So it'll probably continue on right through the right through the, the hill. <laughs> uh, it seems to be going over the hill, thankfully. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah, staying just over the hill. <laughs> But yeah, I'm uh, getting, getting some good practice, learning how to... I haven't, haven't used this software in a few months, so I'm re-wrapping yeah, yeah. my mind around how it works. Yeah, I, yeah, you get one chance when you're out there with the... Exactly. <laughs> so I, uh, I 
my first learning from today was uh, remember to tell the computer where you are. <laughs> <laughs> I still had it configured for my home in Santa Clara. Yeah, so yeah. where are all the airplanes? It's not working. <laughs> And you got the right right tripod. I, I helped friend sink a uh, railroad tie in his backyard vertically. Uh huh. Oh, house. cool. And, and that very um, cool. Still wobbles. You touch the scope a little bit, and the railroad tie bends over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Need something a little more stable. We probably had it all figured out. Nope. <laughs> Even more stable than that. More rigid. <laughs> Would help. Second thing I've learned today is you can't see crap in this screen in direct sunlight. So I'm going to have to come yeah. up with some kind of hood to drape oh, over my head uh, in the camera. Apple or Meta wants to sell you the goggles. But, <laughs> but yeah, your eyes don't adapt. I, I, yeah, I and the, the screen's just not bright enough for direct sunlight. Monochrome, monochrome um, TFTs used to do that. But uh -huh. Nobody sells monochrome phones or viewfinders or anything anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Even the bicycle computers, the phone on the... the the bike doesn't work at all. Yeah, incorrect son. So I'm gonna have to figure something out to uh, to deal with that. That's something I've thought about for five minutes, but I still haven't found a good black and white display. Yeah, <laughs> I I think I'm just gonna try to go with the dark cloth over the head approach, yeah, yeah, like the old school photographer. photographers. <laughs> My dad had new camera, and I got to carry around the teenager when I was still strong. <laughs> cool. So you're still over the over the hill. Uh, I think I've yet. lost it a little bit. Either that, or I just can't could, see it in the screen anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah he's, he's probably it was 400 miles an hour. Yeah, exactly. I think I've probably lost it at this point. But yeah, that was a good long track.